place. I said, well, are you, you going to numb it? He said, well, unfortunately, I can't. He said, because, he says, I've had the kids break in. I said, they've nicked all the hypodermic needles. He said, for all the drugs and that. He said, so I've got no needles. I said, I can't give you an injection. I said, well, what about gas? Will you, will you give me some gas? He said, well, to be honest with you, with all the costs of eating these days, all I can afford to eat the bloody surgery, you know. And I said, well, what are you going to do? It's going to kill me. He said, well, have these four tablets. And I said, what are these? He says, they're Viagra. I said, well, what? will I kill the pain? He said, well, not exactly. He said, but I'll give you something to hold on to while I'm drilling. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, my missus, you know, when we got married very early, we, I mean, come on, I've been married two or three times now, but on the first marriage, I mean, I can remember, we had a society wedding, we had a society wedding the first time, we, uh, we got married at the co-op. <laughs> On the wedding night, on the, uh, on the wedding night, because we were both a bit young, you know, we were in our teens, we were just into the twenties, you know, and she was very embarrassed, and because we, you don't make love, do you, till you, you marry in those days, I mean, they, they all do it all the time now, when they leave school, when they're at school, but we hadn't used to, because our, my parents used to say, if you do that, you'll be thrown out the house, you know, if you get a girl pregnant, so you never did it, you know, because you're frightened, you? and uh, so I never did till I was married, and on the wedding night, uh, we went upstairs in the bedroom and she started to get undressed and she was all embarrassed and she said, I'll tell you something now. She said, I'll tell you something. She said, I've never been with a man before. And I said, well, that's where we differ. <laughs> <laughs> we were very naive. We, were very we, were, we, we stayed up till three o'clock in the morning waiting for our sexual relations to arrive. <laughs> Oh yeah, look, I'll tell you what, we've we'll been a place with Andrew. Now I'll tell you what, we're going we're gonna to do, I know it's the sign out there saying it's country and western on a Tuesday night, Thursday night, is that right? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. But I remember when, uh, who was it, the um, Buddy Rich, wasn't it, the famous drummer, one of the greatest drummers in the world, he had a heart, he had a heart attack and he was taken into, rushed into hospital and apparently the surgeon said, are you allergic to anything? And he said, yes, country and western. <laughs> So we're going to do, now, now Howard plays in a bluegrass band and I do occasionally and John does, Archie doesn't but he's going to learn a new tune tonight. <laughs> so we're going, we're going to do something that was recorded back, oh, back in uh, about the late 30s by Bob Wills, the King of Western Swing. <laughs> you're ready to be, aren't you? Yeah. Bob Wills, yeah. Right. Hey, this old, uh, this old cowboy. <laughs> he got on the phone, he says, uh, he says to his company, his catalogue sales company, and he says, I want, I want to order some toilet paper. And the catalogue company said, uh, what sort of paper do you want? We do different, six or seven different types. I don't know, I just want some toilet paper. They said, well, you'll have to give us the catalogue number. You got our catalogue? He said, if I got your catalogue, I wouldn't be happy to <laughs> Right. <laughs> Deep within my heart lies a tale of fear, a song of old and its own. Where in dreams I live with a tale of fear, a need to start all alone. Oh, that moon, it fell by the hell 